This image was created using Twinmotion 2023.1 And you can see how I got the mood of the environment really well in this rendering with so many plant variation with the custom asset I have and in this video I will discuss how to create our own custom asset using the 3D model we have This is a time lapse of how easy it is to use custom asset you just need to drag and drop into your scene project you can also adjust the color and size of the object let's we start here i am using twinmotion 2023.1 you can go directly to import and choose the file you want to make a custom asset here i use a sample format file from sketchup actually you can also use another file format but to make it simple, I use the SketchUp file format. Go to the material settings, choose the material you want to set. Here I divided it into two parts. In the leaves, roughness, I changed the value to 60%. In the color section, you can also change it according the color tone you want. In the stem section, I use 80% for the roughness. I use HDRI to get good simple lighting to make it easier for me to see the result of the material setting. To activate the pet tracer, you just need to press R. After everything is set, click the folder on the scene, then right click and choose at user library. If it's done, you can delete all the files. To try the result of the custom asset you made, you just drag and drop them into the project. It's very simple, isn't it? Okay, let me show you directly how to use in the real scene project. This is a simple scene I have. I can directly drag and drop each custom asset I have made. I think this feature is very helpful because besides being easy, on each object I can still play with the scale and color of the object's material. This feature is very powerful, even though you have made it, but you can still change it to adjust the need of each project scene you have. You can play with the tone, color, and brightness of its texture. Maybe any of you have a question, what if I update the latest version of Twinmotion? Will the asset automatically move too? Here, I will show you how to move all the custom assets you have to another Twinmotion version or even to another device. This is my Twinmotion 2023.2 and there are no assets at all. To see where the custom assets are safe, go to edit then preference custom path choose user library here is the default setting you can adjust it to your need for where you want to place the folder here i have made a shortcut go to the folder address of the custom asset i have but this lead to twinmotion 2023.1 I just go back to the document folder and choose the Twinmotion 2023.2 because I want to place the asset there. Then the user library, you can see here it's still empty and this is sync with the what's inside Twinmotion. Back to the folder, here I have some asset that I have created and I want to move to version 2023.2 simple ways I will just copy the folder and paste it into the user library folder when I go back to Twinmotion here it doesn't show the folder we just inserted it it is because to see the update we need to restart Twinmotion first after I restart it and boom the folder i copied has been updated 
and we can immediately use it just need to drag and drop can change every color of the material can change the scale I think this feature is full of power that's probably all I can explain about how to create your own custom asset library in Premontree Thank you for watching this video if you have any question or maybe you need help with the rendering you have with twin motion and need tips and tricks to overcome it you can write it in the comment see you in another video